What's going on, y'all, and welcome on in. I think this is going to be my fastest, honest review video. And today, of course, we'll be featuring Taeyu. Um, that's probably why it's going to be the fastest. I did test him today in RTA around the Emperor level. I tested him in Arena. And overall, I'll share you my thoughts, everything, day one impressions. Remember, this is just day one, so things are subject to change. But I think I and a lot of you guys watching can probably kind of pick up if you've tested him yourself if you've seen other people play him sort of where his power level is at but we'll discuss it in detail we'll go over the builds uh overall thoughts as well as if you should summon him or not i'll start with that too so you guys can just get we can get it out of the out of the way but um yeah as usual guys let me know how your summons went if you do decide to summon for him and uh let's get on with the Tayu honest review all right y'all let's keep it super simple this video and get straight to the point is Tayu worth your hard earned bookmarks the long and short of it guys is unless you really love Tayu's looks there are better options out there and those options are a lot of times just easier to pull off for the most part Tayu still has a few things that he brings to the table so he's not a bad unit by any means but he's definitely it's okay to pass is essentially what i'm saying not limited his artifacts not limited either but his artifact is pretty nice so consider picking it up we'll get more to that later um overall yes you can definitely skip him unless you really really like him now let's say you do really like him and you also or sorry excuse me or you already summoned him let's go ahead and talk about the build and let me share with you my overall thoughts on everything to you so overall here's the build guys this stat line is pretty much, you can see this kind of stat line on a lot of similar units like Ice Kisei and Fire Kawerk. Those speedy damage units that want to pump out a lot of damage and have a little bit of utility. All three of them have skill pushback, Teyu included. And Teyu also has the added benefit of having full strip when he is uh, in Rage. His overall kit relies on Enrage. He does work versus the dreaded Hua Young pair. In fact, that's his best matchup, in my opinion. A lot of the other non-attack skill units like uh, uh, Conquer Lilius can stop Teyu in his tracks. The skill 3 will activate his Enrage, but then afterwards, Silius can just provoke him, and he will not be able to skill 3. Um, overall, once if he does get his uh, Enrage going, Let's say he does get his range going. He does get into his tornado sweep, gives himself attack up, strips full buffs. It does work very well versus Hua Young. He will stop her from using um, her skill three initially, and then he can lead back into his skill one, which is the big money maker, guys. This is actually what made his kick kind of fun, at least in my testing today. The multipliers are definitely solid. This was on four Mola. If you have the chance to soul burn it as well and lead into the title crash, he is killing most things, even through. Proof of Valor and Aureus as long as he's attacked up, as long as he's enraged, and if you can Soul Burn it as well, which is only 10 souls. It's not that hard to achieve, especially because so much stuff is going on, or if you have any extra soul additions on your squad. But there are a few things that can interrupt him, guys. The Hua Young, for example, go ahead and check out my Kodic review. I think this trend might become more popular in the future. As, you, as people's gear progresses, if they're not playing a mega aggressive Hua Young, a lot of players can have 100 effect resist while still maintaining similar stats. That is going to stop Teyu in his tracks, and it's very hard to counter that. A lot of y'all may be thinking, well, then we'll just put some effectiveness on Teyu. He's already very, very strapped for stats, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the build now. But one last thing is one of his major cons compared to units like Kisei, for example, is that his, his sign, Virgo, just overall leaves him with worse stats than comparable units. Kisei, if I were to slap this gear, and I actually stole most of this gear from her, she comes out with more attack and more speed on the same exact gear set, boys. It's just one minor thing, or not even minor, but one minus to his overall kit but enough about the pros and cons let's go ahead and talk about the build itself this is just a speedy glass cannon type build um of course if you can get 100 crit chance guys but if you shoot for 250 260 speed and bonus if you're on his artifact that's going to actually let you um cheese out or even contest some of the faster aggressive opponents i really think his artifact is super good for him otherwise just go for any generic damage artifact symbol of course is amazing for almost any damage unit or I would, I, I would probably say any damage unit, period. But a lot of times you're going to want this on a more um, universal unit rather than Teyu, who's a little bit more niche if you do decide to use him. Uh, but yeah, we'll save artifacts there for a second. Uh, the build, I think this is fine. If you guys can reach comparable stats or maybe even a little bit lower, this will work. His skill one will hit like a truck. Um, if you notice, I'm not even molded. 
The only thing I would change, guys, if, if you can get similar stats, is try to go for Penset if possible. I know his skill 3 is area of effect, but the damage is so low, um, it's not really that important. The skill 1 is where it's really good, and if you can get Penset on top of Soul Burning, um, he, will, he will cut through anything like a hot knife through butter. The skill 1 is the best part of his kit by far. So let's go ahead and talk about... That's the build wrap-up. Let's go ahead and talk about the skill enhancements. So the skill 3... Guys, here's the deal. I think if you really like him, you plan to use him a lot, you're going to want a plus 15 him, or maybe even plus 14, because this one you could probably skip on. But I would just plus 15 him with the friendship, you know, the, the free skill enhancement you can get. You want to max this out just for the extra damage, but keep in mind, guys, he gets activated first, and unless you bring a skill, or sorry, an attack up unit that can go before Teyu, a lot of times he'll be the one in the lead after his enrage, and he doesn't get the attack up until after the tornado sweep. So this thing, on top of the multipliers not being the best, just doesn't really hit too hard. Um, I was told by a lot of people that it's not really worth investing Mola in, but I do think if you do plan to use him, every bit of damage helps, so might as well max that out. But if you just want to use Teyu as a budget kind of utility unit, let's say for real-time arena a later pick where he will shine you can definitely be budget guys and save all the molas here and he'll still do his job save the molas on the skill two and the skill three because the thought process is if he's alive for four turns on the skill three if he's alive to cycle back to three turns on this skill two you've you've probably already won or he's dead you know what i'm saying the times that th that'll make a difference in the extra turn cooldown is far and few between you can save the molas unless you plan to use them a ton the skill one though guys 100 percent max this out i imagine if i had this maxed out and with a pen set i would be cutting through i was doing damage against proof of valor robbies of course they didn't have an orius i killed the orius holder already but this thing was looking very very solid anytime i got it it felt so good and he can even do that cool thing where he'll finish off one unit jump to the next kind of like ram or any extra attack unit jacko for example um super super cool this is the real thing that makes him just really fun and i think solid at least um but there's the skill enhancement guys save skill one max everything else you can skip unless you plan to use him a crap ton all right guys i briefly mentioned the artifact situation um put on any damage artifact or his own if you are lucky enough to get it if you guys are swimming in powder which i don't imagine a lot of y'all are um Definitely pick one up if possible. I'll probably get one with powder because I do think with how many warriors are out right now, it's super unique to have a combat readiness push like that. Um, and I do think this will open up a lot of doors in the future as people test in theorycraft. It also the added benefit of just having attack percent and that we can use it at plus 15. I mentioned that in my first impression. It's a super solid artifact. And honestly, I think this artifact is better than Teyu himself. Uh, but go ahead and use that. Use symbol or put on just any damage artifact on a Teyu and he'll do his job of damage overall though guys closing thoughts let me go pull up his stat page again when you compare him to units like kisei and fire kawarik i just think those units that have better stats because of their star sign um they can also do their job better for kawarik for example has the skill pushback that can ignore effect uh effect resist when you soul burn it kisei for example has overall better stats they both have stealth which is much much better than skill nullifier guys and I, that was super true today when i was testing him um i think both of those just in general are better but if Teyu fits your fits kind of your need of fighting that para hua young combo you see a lot especially in areas like guild wars and arena where you can make Teyu uh survive and shine definitely consider um you know building him up and using him to that extent but overall if you already have some of those other faster aggressive units i just don't think there's a great spot for him he's definitely not a must-have unit by any means and i do want to ask one y'all one last question all right let me make it a two-parter one how do you feel about Teyu's overall power level and how do you feel about smilegate bringing them out at this power level remember it's only day one so things can definitely change but overall i think his kit is a little bit clunky it's a lot of it's high investment for a not big payoff where if you just run units like ice key say um they don't need the setup and they can kind of fulfill the same job if not better because of the better stat lines um and the better survivability via stealth etc so overall teyu's main shining light is the full moon slash have fun with it guys if you can get this going it is so so powerful but otherwise stick to the tried and true on the other aggressive skill utility skill pushback units that already exist out there with their addition of stealth and um yeah teyu will probably be on the bench for me a while for a while Maybe he'll get buffs in the future, but uh, at least he looks pretty good besides the T-Rex arms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.